Hey everyone, this is the ELO 42 inch multi-touch screen and I got it set up here on my couch and I just wanted to show you how it works. So if I touch the screen here, you can see that it follows my finger really easily and um, it's super sensitive. It has a really great touch response and that's because it's an optical touch. So in every corner, if you look, I'm, I'm probably won't be able to get on this camera, but in each corner, there's a really small camera and so it actually uses the cameras to de detect where you are touching. And so it's really accurate, works really well. And so I just want to show you how easy it is to use. So if I touch the Windows key down here and run, let's see, uh, Sticky Notes. That's an app you can run. And it opens up over here in the corner. Let's see if I can uh, make it a little bit bigger. All right, so then I can, I can draw on here something. So if I write my name, something like that, so you can see how the touch works that way. So it acts like a big smartphone, like a giant tablet, but it's a full Windows PC. Makes a great um, like external monitor for like a work computer if you work from home, or even if they let you bring it into the office, it'd be a great addition uh, for that. Also, if you wanna do any typing, you have this on-screen keyboard here. So if I, if I turn this on, then you can see it appears at the bottom. And if I, if I run, let's say a Chrome, for example, then here's a browser I had queued up. So if I want to type in uh, the search, search window here, I'll just press the search window and I can type in anything I want, like uh, Star Wars, and it appears there. Um, there's a click you heard for, with each type. If you want to turn that off, you can just hit Options and uncheck Use, sound, use Click Sound. I won't turn that off now. If you want to, um, you can turn that off when you buy it. Also, I got this video queued up. I just want to show you what, a, what an HD video looks like on the screen. And I'll hit Play. Now, I don't want to sh give too much of this audio because I don't want YouTube to block uh, this video, but uh, I just want to show you this, that the picture is really good. It's running at 1080p right now, so if I go down here, I have a mouse connected as well. If I go down here, I can show you it's running at 1080p right here. So it handles that without any problems. Uh, also, you can see the volume is pretty low right now, but if I turn this up, it gets pretty loud. It's got built-in speakers. I, um, I can't remember the wattage. It's in the specs that I listed on the page. It's in the specs I listed on the page, but it's pretty loud, so you don't need an external sound system unless you want one. You can plug one of those in if you want. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's how you type. That's how you can draw. Uh, that's how you can watch videos. I'll go ahead and close YouTube now. Now I want to show you how you can connect stuff. So over here on the side, if I pull this up here, you see I've got my network plugged in, I've got the keyboard and mouse plugged in. And that's the PC right there. This PC just slides in and out of the screen, so it's all in one. There's no additional components you need to have a full PC. This is it. Uh, if you want to use this, not as a PC, but as an external just monitor, like for a video game system, for example, it has an HDMI port on the bottom down here. Uh, as well as on the back behind there, there's um, switches where you can press, or, or buttons rather. You can press and turn it on. You can put to your video game system or to your cable box or your Blu-ray player. So it can be a, a PC um, by using one of the inputs, and then it can also be anything else you plug into it but via the HDMI port at the bottom uh, if you want to use something else. So that's it. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you want one, just let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye-bye.